time to go nuclear. Let's have a look. Atomic rocket motor. So I realized if we doubled this up, we probably have a better launch. Let's pull that off. Pull that off. Where is it? Oh gosh. Now we've got one of those things. It's a tall rocket now. Right. Uh, we probably want to structurally attach those as well. Like so. Okay. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to get in here. So we need that. This goes bye bye. And we say hello to this. Oh, like that. Oh, yeah. I love the <laughs> little radiation symbol on the side. That's so awesome. Okay, so. There's the front. Doesn't look like we can actually attach it to the shielding there. Kind of have to attach it up here. -ish. We attach it down here. Hmm. That could work. Let's um, pull back. Can we pull back? No, it does not really want us to. <laughs> such a ridiculously big rocket. Well, we can try this, but I suspect we might burn ourselves. Uh, the other thing we need to do is add more boosters. Many, many, many more boosters. That. Now that needs some structure, because that's a heck of a thing right there. I don't know if this is enough, but we'll find out on the launch pad. And uh, we're going to need some um, structure, struts as well. side as well. Like that. <laughs> okay, so all this together. We have booster, 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 booster. So these are all the boosters. Then we have the three biggins. And this is the internal biggins. These are all the booster detachments, and the bigger detachments, and the mid detachments to the nuclear engines. Well, we we may very well be ready. This is the exoplanet Mark IV. Uh, mm, nuclear Mark One. <laughs> Let's see if this even <laughs> sticks together on the launch pad. This would be interesting. Okay, let's um add some more struts. <laughs> Maybe we can keep this thing together. Um, let's see, structural, oh, that did not work. That one? Oh, wait, I did not 
two times three. One. That's linked, that's linked, 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 linked. Uh, okay, let's have a go. Please don't fall apart. Please don't fall apart. Please don't fall apart. I wish you could see the damage report without having to, you know, when you get to do go back to build it again. So, hanging this off here seems to be the problem. I really want the center of gravity to be lower, but it's not going to give us that option. I could always remove some of this fuel, because as we know, we don't actually need it. Well, we may need it. I, I want it. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. I want it. Adapter thingies. Yes. Structural fuselage. Uh, use that. We can stick that in here, and that would give us somewhere to attach it. Set to gravity shift. Let's go. Fingers crossed. Don't fall apart. Don't fall apart. <laughs> so heavy. So heavy. because I want to put all the boosters on there. <laughs> I really doubt this will make much of a difference. But I'm willing to try anything. Because I really want to launch this thing. Because it looks so awesome. Whoa! Okay! Here we go!
Apple Apps is growing. Am I saying that right? Apple Apps is... I think so. design let's get rid of that orbital section and just use the big stuff so separate that get rid of all of that get rid of that so we're going to attach it up here so we've got rid of a lot of weight Is that good enough? Oh, whoops. I always forget to turn it back onto whatever the, the mode is going to be. Like so. We can lower this entire thing down now. So, well, let's see what this does. I mean, we've got a lot of boosters, we've got a heap of fuel, maybe it'll be enough. We're not actually going very fast. Yeah. Just down to big speed. Slow. We need to go about 2,000. 
hit 70,000 apoapsis. Okay, so we've got our apoapsis anyway. Didn't need that final burn there, but that's okay. Let's turn and see if we can use these engines to actually get a stable orbit and still have lots of fuel left for a mission to Duna. I'm kind of hopeful. Last time I used nuclear engines was in the previous patch, 0.22's previous version. And, oh, hang on a second. Entering the door and walking away and leaving the, uh, <laughs> the whole thing running, came back and I wasn't sure if I'd missed the uh, apoapsis mark, but luckily we have not, so let's try and fix up our bearing here before we get to, get to the apoapsis, which is in 17 seconds. Oh, well, it's close enough, so... Lighten the load. Let's get rid of all these boosters. In fact, let's get rid of this entire bit here. Okay, so this is our mission. This is our mission fuel. This is our attachment point. Let's go with this guy again. Second one, so two rather than three. And where is this thing? The skipper. Like so. But we'll find a way to attach two of these to each leg here. So structure. One of these things. Aerodynamics. One of these things. again. Okay. Aerodynamics. What's this? Tail connector. Hmm. Surface control. Cool. I haven't played with any of these intake valves. Right. So, now we take this and we go three sides. We hopefully find a way to position this that we can squeeze another one in. Six of those. Let's see what kind of performance we get when we do that. I'm kind of curious. Where did my nuclear engines go?
Why? to get in orbit. Okay, I'll cut away. Here we go. Periapsis is growing. Can probably tilt down a little bit more to make it come faster and we have stable orbit. Oh boy, launching this vehicle was not easy. <laughs> wow. Let's deploy our electronics. We have a lot of mission fuel. So it's possible we're going to pull this off after all. Um, the vehicle itself probably would have been more efficient if we put wings on it. But, first things first. Back to Duna. Oblongata. We want to accelerate out of orbit. Oh, that's decelerate. Like so. So that's a three minutes. Oops. Three minute sixteen second burst at the apoapsis to accelerate us away along the Kerbin orbit, I believe. I believe. Kerbin escape. Mm, I think that is the wrong direction, in fact. Yes, that is, in fact, the wrong direction. Let me check that. So, from the periapsis. Same amount of energy, and then we skip past the moon, and we come out going in the right direction. Right, so that's in a couple of seconds, in fact, so let's aim ourselves. Like so. Oh, hope this mission goes better than the first time we attempted to go to Duna. And here we go. Four, three, two, one. Blast off! Another way we do seem to pass through the moon. No moon, by moon, and heading to our escape. I hope. Are we? Are 
Are we really? I don't understand where we are or where we get. Ah. Have we escaped? Tell me we've escaped. Okay, we're definitely moving away from Kevin. <laughs> Good. So, target is Duna. Our angle is perfect. Let's see if we can get there by this path. No, nope, that's really far away. Let's try the descending node. pretty close for a second eh? or is this exactly the opposite okay so let's just twirl around till we find something that's gonna be a bit closer let's try here we can't all be oh I lost it let's set the sun uh, okay close enough Add maneuver, speed up. We are very far away. So, swap it around to the other side. Slow it down. Let's approach him. Again, still completely wrong. How can this be so far away all the time? Well, what we might have to do is go past it and come back in. Yeah, that looks like it's going to work. There we go. That will get us a high speed intercept you do know how much does this maneuver cost four minutes it's unacceptable has to be another way to do this okay what if we set Eve as our target um, it's got a big angle a bit of an angle but you'll Not really much of an angle. How much of a burn does it take to get out to Jewel? Six minutes. Hmm. I don't know how much fuel we really have. Let's uh, say Eve is the target. And at the descending node, we slow down. Okay, at the ascending node, we slow down. It's closer. This is a part of the game that I just don't really understand well. Okay, let's go back to Plan A. Do you know? And let's see if, well, for one, we can accelerate, right? But we can also turn. That looks like it's the exact opposite of what we want. We still got that problem. That appears to be the closest we've gotten so far. That's a five minute burn. Junk. Rubbish. Hmm. 
we'll cut back. Oh, I'm slowing down to get into orbit again. That this could be another ill-fated expedition here. There may not be a way to get home again. We shall see. But at least we'll be in orbit. Like so. You know. Right. Well, first things first. Here we are. Lights aren't really needed at the moment because the sun is behind us. So, I think we already have the crew reports. Yep. These observations of the materials that we needed to get that we failed to get last get home last time. Now just do four of them. Then we'll do three mysterious goos. Now, we could attempt to get in closer, slow down more, but I honestly don't know what it's going to take to get back to Kerbin. So, that's periapsis. We attempt to get in the house and close, and that's an encounter with Ike. Counter with Ike, and then we get close to Duna. Only 18 seconds of burn. It's worth a try. Okay, be back in a bit. Have to do this burn here. Here we go. This is a fairly precise burn. So this is a very short encounter, 1539-1558, so we'll just whiz past it and then we'll be in this orbit, we're still a thousand kilometers away from dinner, so let's move in. the first time I've been near Ike. First encounter with Ike I've ever had I should say. We should do an EVA and get a crew report and some samples.
Alright, here we are. So, first things first. Report. Transmit. Next. Quick save. Uh, quick save. EVA. Oops. This is a good EVA. Right. You never tell. EVA report. Keep. Board. Uh, where's my transmitter? Lights. Okay, well, while we're doing this, observe materials. Keep observe materials. Keep. Um, is that it? Transmit data reusable. Okay, so we got some Ike data. Uh, let's reset, view, keep. What are those? Right. Next trick. So we don't want to stay on Ike. We want to get to low orbit Duna and then try and get home. Okay, so at the periapsis, we would slow down. Should take 40 seconds apparently. To a very low over there. 44 seconds. Do we risk it? Yes, we risk it. Move sides. Okay. Whew. Uh, tap a little bit up. And we speed up until we get closer to Duna's periapsis. Our periapsis of Duna. Around Duna? Mm, whatever. Oh, the estimate's gone down. That's good. Our target is also completely moved. Let's just get closer and then fix the target. Whoa, we missed. Um, okay, so let's redo this maneuver. Do not crash on Duna. That should be close enough. minutes. We give this another go. Two, one, slow down. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, thrust. Okay, hopefully that is low enough. We shall find out in a moment. And okay, it's probably close. Let's see if we've got anything new. 
you. Crew report. Keep. EVA. Hello. EVA. Keep. Board. Um, next experiments. Observe. Observe. And observe. Review. Whoops. I don't know what I reset, but hope that wasn't Ike. Okay. Right. Time to leave. Oh, wrong way. Okay, that will have us leave Ike. Unfortunately, that's two minutes. That's not good enough. Oh, that's getting more. If we do it from the periapsis, how long does it take? So that was roughly two minutes. Ah, oh, 17 seconds. Well, let's do that then. go. Alright. We're back in orbit. We need to get to Kerbin. Kerbin is our target. At our periapsis. Slow down. And that will take us home in 11 days we burn for two minutes I think we can pull that off I think we can pull that off I have no idea if we've still got the arc data or not or just the, the goo at least Okay, speed up to speed up by eleven days. Um, yeah, this is this is where things went badly last time, so just quick save. Seven, six, five, four, two, one, zero. Right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Whew, this game is a lot more stressful than you would think. Just the thought of missing that mark and losing it all. Alright. Here we go. 
to Kerbal or bust. Alright, that burn is complete. We have a very close approach. And we'll figure it out when we get closer to it. So let's uh, speed things up. We still have plenty of fuel for slowing down. So we may pull this mission off after all. Which I'm really happy we do. Because, oh, the science. Such science. Can't tell if we're going to be ahead or behind. It's not going to matter until, you know. So let's start thinking about this. So, we speed up to make the cannon? Yes, we do. Minuscule burn. Let's align ourselves and then move up to the position. I got my RCS on because, of, you know, why not? Doesn't really make a difference at this point. Might as well use it. Make the navigation a little bit easier. Burn, the one that gets us home, or pretty close to home. Five, four, three, two, one, engage. Kerbin with four days 23, leave Kerbin five days 60. So we've got a day to slow down. Uh, I think we're going to be fine. Let's go find out, shall we? Here we are. So, periapsis, once more, we want to slow down. Oh, the minimum amount to be in orbit. Mum, min mass, us. Okay, so, fortunately, that's a three minute burn. This is where things could go horribly wrong. So, let's try some alternatives. If we begin here, start slowing down, what do we get? One minute. Two minute. Two minutes, 25. That gets us home. I think. So that's worth doing because it's the same amount of fuel. 
less than the, the orbit. We just have to find it on the, the globe here. So, I believe the sooner we start, the better. No periapsis. There's a smidgen of fuel left. Let's see what happens. Let's get rid of this thing. It's a bit annoying. Okay, so, in theory, we would come down and land in the ocean. I like that theory. What about doing a break? really achieve anything? I don't think it does. We are definitely going home. Although we are going to accelerate doing it. And we do have some fuel. It's perhaps a, uh, a might as well type scenario here. Right. 
in 10 minutes we do a retrograde burn to hopefully slow our descent So, touch. Uh, we pull in our solar panels. And now it's all up to gravity. <laughs> and throttle off. Quick save. And just like that, we are home. down high altitude for that parachute and 5,000 meters ish for the parachutes much 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 important science coming back from this journey down slow down if we get one of those things we really gotta adjust all the parachutes before we get there almost there when these ones pop we should be down to five minutes per second I think they will do it at 500 meters. All right, that means the ground's about 130 meters off the, off the seabed, sea level. Let's um, attempt to speed things up. Do we have a shadow yet? There it is. That's us coming in for a perfect, hopefully perfect landing. It took us three episodes to do it, but we finally got there. To Duna and back with science. Lots and lots of science. Recover before it falls over. <laughs> oh boy, what do we get? Now we have one science. Oh no, I guess we have more than more science. Oh no, we beamed some of it back already. 929.4 science. Yeah, so what do we got? We got near Duna, EVA, well, EVA report while in space near Duna, material study while high over Duna, uh, material study while in space. Base near Duna, so this is not high anymore, this is near. Goon near Duna. High over Duna. Stereo study high over Ike. Near Duna. High over Duna. High over Ike. Near Duna. High over Duna. That's the goo. And. Return a vessel from orbit around Duna. Wow. That there is a lot of science. Of course, these things cost 300, so these probably cost, what, 600? <laughs> so the real question is, how the heck do I spend this? 
We want to get to the super duper heavy rocketry, which I think requires this. High visibility control room for orbital stations. Lander. RCS fuel tank. This stuff. I mean, I would love to do some of the lander stuff. So, um. I could probably pull off missions like that to. I don't know, Jewel, maybe? Eve? Definitely Eve. So, another thousand sciences within my grasp. And I'm getting close to wanting to actually try and land on the moon, the moon. Um, but let's, let me just check the wiki for a sec. All right, going to the wiki, to get very heavy rocketry, which is this one, I need heavier rocketry and large control, which is this one. So, pop. And this gives me the mainsail liquid engine and the Jumbo 64 tank. This is it. This is how it's done. This is all the fuel and all the all the thrust required to put anything in orbit, uh, assuming the design is okay. So, pop. Done. What's this? Metamaterials. Bi adapters, quad stack adapters, tri adapters. Cool. See the docking port, Claptron. Okay, so we've still got 171 science. Can we afford large electronics? No, we cannot. We could afford this. Or we could afford these things for sciencey type stuff. Because it would be nice to land on the moon, take some samples, and go home. All of this stuff would be really useful for that as well. And of course, advanced landing would be useful for that as well. Hmm. I think this. For the science value. Or this for the building value. We'll go this one. Science. One more thing. Debris. <laughs> I think that was the first uh, nuclear one that exploded and the exoplanet Mark II that is stuck out there. I'm sorry, goodbye. Question is, does Jebediah come back when you kill him like that? Let's find out. Do I have to fire someone? Why can I not? Oh, these are for hype. Jupiter is back! <laughs> Hooray!